All right, can I have everybody's attention, please? Now, hopefully every group has already selected their top three choices for each category. And so we're going to start off with Mervyn, and then we're going to go down the list, and then <clears throat> so thank you, thank you. Th no, come on, hush, stop, 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 stop. Uh, so uh, among our three-month goals are to establish, oh, my bad, okay. I'm sorry, I'll open up, my bad, my bad. I'll work with it. Just help me be one with everyone, okay. A part of the three-month goal, three-month plan, okay, my bad, Mervyn. I'm Mervyn, he, him, his, Mervyn, okay. I'll take my time, just let me know. Our three month objective is to establish a database of all aspects of the production process, directors, actors, designers, A to Z. Establishing a Facebook group, Deaf, Deaf, Blind, for professionals. Okay, I'm still on duty, I'm still on task. There's more? Okay, my bad. Uh, establish a regional collaboration. Yes, we're good, am I good? Oh yes, regional collaborations, once they're established, to make sure that they maintain consistent communication and exchange of resources. Yes, I'm <laughs> on to the next. Uh, in five years. Let me interject for one second. You can hold off on elaborating on it, just specify what it is. You're right, you're right. In five years, we want more deaf, deaf blind actors in our pool. Several, representing all categories, demographic categories. We also want professional development workshops, full catalog, fall topics. We want uh, to pool funds together for deaf-blind, deaf-deaf-blind access to support artists, actors, writers, directors, etc. and to have funds and resources for communication access, whether it be interpreters or what have you. And moving on, over here, <laughs> in, in 50 years, we will have achieved a publication, an annual, no, not a publication, an event, an annual deaf Deaf-Blind Theatrical Festival, fully inclusive of all theatrical approaches to the work, and to make sure that there's an array of diversity and representation, including varying disabilities at all levels of the process, including the administrative level. Uh, hello, hi, hi, hello everyone, all right? Much better, now that I have you. Uh, in three months, oh yes, by the way, I'm J.W. Guido, J.W. In three months, just as was said in some of the other groups, at least a minimum, at the minimum, we want a database established that includes like a shared, Google Drive document 
We also want to maintain ongoing discussion in a Facebook platform or social media platform, uh, establishing other regional groups, at least, what, four, four or five regions? How many regions? Four? So five, yeah. Northeast region, southeast region, central, west, what have you. What are the regions? So central, west, respectively. All the regions. Okay, so a system of sharing resources per region, yep, uh, to accomplish this in three months. Yep, and in five years, to create a creative toolkit for artists, creators, um, for also for deaf children specifically, to have a hub of information not that doesn't only speak to deaf artists and deaf actors, but an array of interests. To also continue to have ongoing workshops or sessions or seminars like this, so that we can produce something, a tangible asset of our work. Not just have workshops internally, but actually produce something. And that's pretty it. And to actually do this in concert with a workshop, to actually have something in tandem with this kind of experience. Uh, again, at a minimum, in 50 years, is this better? Okay, uh, in 50 years, to have an all-inclusive in theater, barrier-free. We want to have a festival similar to some other language-based festivals in which you'll have a large catalog of different genres of theater that are ASL-based, of deaf by deaf. Also, we want to be able to identify the pool of deaf artists where they are. So those are our three. EJ, EJ, EJ. Hi, everyone. Hello. Oh, yes, I'm EJ. And yes, in three months, there are cultures, many, many cultures. We're not talking about one culture. We want a culture of directors a cultural family of directors. Now, hold on. Y'all can help me if you need to. Uh, one culture for directors, one culture or community for cast in three months to develop those per discipline in the theater, have different cultural cohorts. Also, additional workshop training for leadership, leadership and learning. So we need more of that. And we need apps. You know, apps uh, to create accessibility for deaf, deaf, blind folks as well. Uh, what else did I forget? Training. Theater training, thank you. Theater training, experimental theater training. Those kind of workshops. And to do all that in three months. Okay? Yeah? Did I get it? In five years, yes. To have a deaf, theater festival in five years. And hopefully to have two, uh, maybe three Broadway productions including or representative of deaf artists or deaf actors. Also, to have holograms on stage, little VR, a little virtual reality on stage, have everybody in there with their Google glasses. Maybe you don't even have to go to the theater. You can stay at home and be immersed in an interactive experience. VR, go figure. So uh, we also want uh, more diversity in theaters, uh, a diversity of deaf theaters. But wasn't there one more? No, I'm done, I'm done, good. 
Oh, no, I'm not. 50 years from now. <clears throat> we already covered that, didn't we? Uh-uh. No, but what was this here? Real theater. Get Robert. Robert? Oh, yeah, Robert. In 50 years. Yeah, Robert had that. So essentially, in past the three months, you know, of experimental theater, we want to go to a place of creating a space or venues in which connection can happen, in which there is no longer a fourth wall, but a communal theatrical space that's accessible for deaf-blind individuals with the addition of media included in the theatrical experience. So what we're doing is re-envisioning or recreating how we have that theatrical experience, not necessarily separated from the stage. And using that kind of technology, the, the, whether it's a hologram notion or something otherwise, the idea is to reframe the stage, mm -hmm. to s do something bit magical. And by the time that we get there, maybe holograms will be something that's just going to be a household item. And that theater will be a lot more ubiquitous. There will be different theatrical spaces that are not the kind of convention that we see right now in which protactile is the norm. So that everyone has this opportunity to realize the world that we live in in terms of theater. So again, we're kind of moving away from the stage and not being confined to the stage, but really actually deconstructing that old dead idea and reinventing a real here. I think we're actually coining a term. where everyone is actually in the space, that the audience becomes the theatrical experience and the stage is something different. So the term that we're coining is real theater. So we won't need to have these accessories, these access providers, apps, sign language interpreters. Those things will be a thing of the past. Hello, everyone. I'm Joey Cavallar. Cavalry. And our three-month vision. I think I mostly, we had everything that everybody else had mentioned. A database for sure, with different artists involved in that. We know that we already have a database. You know, Ty uh, has been working on that database for quite some time now. And Rachel, do you mind if you share about that, Richard? Okay, because I know Rachel's been working on that database as well, when bringing in different artists. And by the end of the weekend, we're going to be sharing that information with all of you here in terms of that access to that database. So three months from now, that's going to be shared pretty much with the directors, with the people out there in the theater. Not just a list of the deaf talent, but also deaf blind talent, and also a list of the potential hearing people who know sign language as well. And by the way, if you know, you know a role that you're working with a deaf individual or something like that, and it kind of saves a lot of time trying to look for someone and training somebody or training a new person, you'll have all these resources available at your fingertips. So now, in the next five years, we're envisioning perhaps a National Deaf and Deaf Blind Theater Festival where everyone gets together quite often to showcase a degree program 
VFA where people can attend colleges and stuff to see these performances? An artist group, a foundation, to set up an actual foundation in which this foundation would look like, would be that basically they would be delegated to look for sources of income, money to provide for actors, work, services. The money would really be readily available. So we have one that should have been like 50 years, but we want to move it down to five years so that this way it would be uh, a deaf, deaf, blind coalition of people who would pursue more work and developing more work for more deaf artists. And I want to make sure that the camera's on me as I move to 50 years later, <laughs> now 50 years into the future. What was our 50 year, what were the three most important? Theater space throughout America. Theater space throughout America, yes. Physical theater space throughout America in all these various regions, more and more, and all over across the United States, and maybe perhaps in foreign countries as well. Well, thank you.